So today we're changing the spark plugs and here I'm showing you where the first uh, screws are to remove the air intake uh, ducting. So I'm just trying to point at the screws with the laser. So you're supposed to just remove these to remove the air intake. And uh, here I'm just starting the work. These are 10 millimeter uh, screws. I remember that off the top of my head. And this little clip here, you just need to push it off. And there's the top of the plenum already released. Now there's two other intakes. One is below the other one. So you just need to prise them off free. And there's the uh, one underneath where it's located. As you can see from this video, I'm using a um, spy camera, so it's a first point, of, first person point of view. So this should be should give a different perspective to everyone. Um, unfortunately, it's not as easy to aim that camera as you would think. Uh, in order to remove these clips, I use a bit of a uh, penetrating fluid because they were a bit rusty. Not a big deal. Now one thing that I found with removing any kind of tubing is that sometimes the tube seems to be seized together with the metal. So using a flathead screwdriver I tend to pr try to prise it off to remove it. As you can see, it was a bit stiff and difficult to remove. So don't be surprised if you're having difficulties removing your air ducting as well. But it finally comes apart and nothing is damaged, so... We now have uh, good access to the spark plugs. Here I'm pointing where the spark plugs are. And removing the little covers. The high tension leads so yeah, now you can see the spark plug and there's a second spark plug tension lead being removed now to remove the spark plugs what I've used is just a deep socket and then uh, extensions or not using extensions depending on the access so for this one I just had a small extension with a deep socket. And uh, to remove spark plugs I've used a magnet um, and here's you can see them side by side the new and the old one. So this is the, the first spark plug, the one that is closest to the bulkhead from the passenger side. Mind you, this is a passenger side on a UK vehicle. This would be the driver's side on a US vehicle. So you can get a good idea of where the spark plugs are with my video and uh, how to remove them. Now, some spark plugs you're, you're easier to, it's easier to reach them using an extension with a swivel action. Um, and uh, you see that I have a swivel in my extensions and my sockets here. This will be very handy for the opposite side. Because the, the spark plug that is closest to the bulkhead in the opposite side is rather tricky to get access to. And here I have this um, situation where 
I was trying to put the new spark plug in and it was just slipping off. So I've used an old trick which is just to use a bit of paper, some uh, kitchen roll paper, and um, cram your spark plug into the socket using the kitchen roll so then it won't um, drop as you can see here. So then it's a uh, you don't have any problems with them dropping to the floor just because of sliding out of the sockets. And here I'm just putting the high tension leads or whatever is the name of those back in into the spark plugs. And the air ducting going back in. It's a lot easier to put the air ducting back in than it is to remove it, so you don't need to worry about this part of the job. And when you put it back in, just remember to put some uh, penetrating fluid. But we're going into the other side, and here's the location of the three spark plugs. I'm just trying to point at them using the laser, but the last one it's, well, behind everything else. Anyway, uh, this is the way that I reached to the, the rear spark plug. So I just put my hand there and I can take the lead out. And then it's just a matter of using this, the deep socket with an extension and then a swivel. And this is one of those situations where if you can't see it, you can't get to it. If you can't get to it, you can't see it, so I just had to feel my way into uh, slotting the, the socket into the spark plug, and then once it was there I just kept my hand to make sure that it wasn't going to run away or slide off, and then using my other hand I pushed the swivel, and then if you notice here closely, um, the angle of the swivel is relevant. If you try to angle it too much you can't actually get anything out of it. But it's not a difficult task, it's just an awkward one to, to do. And then in the end I just uh, unscrewed the rest of the spark plug with my hand. And very very closely, very very carefully pulled it out to make sure that it wouldn't fall on the floor. Because I don't want it to... Uh, to land somewhere in the engine bay and then lose it for good. So uh, here I'm using the, um, the kitchen towel trick again. As you can see, you know, it's it's a very difficult place to access. Well, it's not very difficult, it's just a tricky place to access. So it's best to make sure you don't lose your spark plug while you're accessing it. And then, you know, refitting is the reverse of removing. Again, being careful with the angle of the swivel and giving some, uh, some torque to the plug and again fitting the, fitting the lead back in but you can't see it, you just have to feel it and uh, slot the lead into the plug. So now moving on to the second plug, just removing the lead and uh, again, you know, Deep socket, small extension. Now this is probably one of the easiest ones to remove because of the the area is just clear, so you have pretty easy movement. And then I've used the the magnet to pull the spark plug out again. Sometimes it's easier to reach with a magnet than it is with your hands. And the new spark plug going in place. giving it a good some some torque there and finally getting to the last spark plug on the driver's side now the thing about here is I was trying to find the lead somehow I lost the lead 
so there's the obsolete and now move on to the next spark plug which is the final one now the way I've removed the leads has always been by wiggling I don't really like to push them with a lot of force so wiggling works and here you can see I'm just changing the attachments to have the easiest possible access to remove the spark plug and put the new one. Now one important thing that I'd like to mention is that I have taken one lead out, remove a spark plug, replace with a new one and then put the lead back in. This way you can't get your leads wrong ever and it's something worth, uh, you know, usually the, um, the leads have the, um, the correct space they can't reach for the wrong spark plug, but if you do them one at a time, you will you don't have it, the opportunity. It's just impossible to get them wrong. And here goes the last spark plug. Most of it has been screwed by hand, and then at the end, just put the final torque by using the the wrench. And the uh, lead goes back in, and we're done. So now all we have to do is just clean up and uh, throw the old spark plugs in a bin because, well, they've been used and they're no good. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to get more videos with the Forerunners sometime soon.